What's up everyone? Tim Long back in the kitchen with you for Souped Up Ramen. Today we have something really special. McDonald's decided to bring back their Szechuan sauce thanks to the success of Rick and Morty. So today we're going to make Rick's Szechuan chicken and noodles and you're going to love it. This dish is going to pack a lot of flavor, a little bit of heat, but it's going to be something that you're going to want to make over and over again. So let's get to cooking. First things first, you're going to need to head to McDonald's and get some Szechuan sauce. If you go through the drive-thru, just order some nuggets because those are always great too and ask for as many packets as they can give you. Pay a little extra if you need to, you're going to love the sauce, it's amazing. You're going to need two packets of the sauce for this dish, but always have extras on hand. The other ingredients we're going to need are boneless skinless chicken breast, serrano chilies, red onion, garlic, green onion, and some sesame seeds if you wish. Oh, and don't forget ramen noodles, but you already have those stocked at home, so don't worry about it. I mean, I know that I do. So now that we have all of our ingredients, let's get to cooking. The first thing you're going to want to do is throw some water on to boil. You need to cook those noodles, but don't worry about saving the water because we're not going to be using it in this dish. While your water starts to boil, you're going to want to cut up all of your ingredients. Chop up those chili peppers, chop up that red onion, smash your garlic, and slice up that chicken breast. Once you have all those things cut up and you're ready to go, it's time to hit the pan. First thing we're going to do is throw a little bit of olive oil in the bottom and get those chicken breasts in there. Season with a little bit of salt and pepper, but this sauce packs a lot of flavor, so you're not going to need too much. After your chicken starts browning and you've stirred it up a little bit, go ahead and hit it with the serrano chilies and the red onion. Toss your garlic in at this point as well. Your noodles are probably boiling at this time, so once you have them in there for 3-5 to five minutes and they're nice and soft, you can take them out and drain that water. Once your chicken looks like it's fully cooked through and it's nice and brown and the rest of the vegetables start breaking down a little bit, it's time to hit it with that sauce. Take one of the packets of Szechuan sauce that you got from McDonald's and dump it into the pan and coat everything generously. Now that everything's getting nice and saucy in that pan, it's time to take your seasoning that you have from your ramen packet, mix it in with your noodles, and then mix it in with the rest of the dish. Once you have everything mixing together nicely in that pan, it's time to throw it into a bowl and get ready to enjoy. Once you're plated up, you can go ahead and hit it with some of those green onions and a little bit of those sesame seeds, just for a little extra flavor. Now you're probably wondering why you have that extra pack of Szechuan sauce, and this is where you can use it. If you want a little bit saucier noodle, go ahead and top everything with that. You might not need the extra sauce, but I'm a saucy kind of guy, so I always like to add a little bit of extra at the end. Now that you have everything in a bowl and plated up, you're ready to go. Grab your chopsticks, dig in, and enjoy. Bonus points you can throw on Rick and Morty in the background, obviously. That's all we got for this episode of Souped Up Ramen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and you're going to hit your kitchen soon and get to cooking. As always, please hit that subscribe button below and like the video. If that's something that you want to do for me, it would really help me out. I will catch you guys next time and teach you other kitchen creations right here in my own home. We'll see you guys next time. Later.